you are on Masai Mara National Park. From now, we can start our safari. The journey starts. beautiful souls and welcome to the Maasai Mara. So we just arrived here at Salas Camp in Kenya and it is gorgeous. I would say it's a very upscaled tent property. It looks like a tent, but we have an actual roof. We have glass doors so we can enclose this whole place, which I think relaxes Brennan a little bit more around bugs and scorpions and lovely things like that. What I love so much about our stay so far in Africa, when you land at the airstrip, you get in the car and immediately they take you on a game drive because between the airport and your room, there are so many animals so we have seen some animals brennan literally filmed a hyena porno in 4k because all of the males are trying to mate with this one Don't female at me. <laughs> oh wow hey, i think we're unwelcome visitors on an intimate moment i don't know how i feel about what i just filmed guys i may have just filmed a Oh. Even our guides, they were like, we've never seen this before. Like we've obviously seen hyenas and mating and stuff like that, but they've never been so close to the cars. It's never been like this grand show around us. And so doing it at the same time. Doing it at the same time. They're like laughing. It's a good time, okay? It is so different here and the energy is just, it really calls to me because I've been telling Brennan, every time I see the Maasai people doing their traditional like dancing and jumping and chanting, something happens to my body where I get goosebumps. And I've just been so drawn to the Maasai Mara, even though I've never been here before. And as we're driving through, I'm like, okay, I get it now, I get it. So with that being said, we have a game drive, our very first one in an hour and a half. They said it might rain before then, and I'm manifesting, of course, no rain by the end of it. But I kind of like that it rained while we're here in the room because it means that the water filled up and there's probably gonna be more animals out to get a drink of water, or the lions know that those animals are getting a drink of water and so they're gonna go and stalk their prey. I figured that before we unpack everything, we would do a tour. Brennan, you wanna help me with a tour? Absolutely. Nice little tour. My husband, he's a professional tour guide. Well, actually, I'm the I guide. I tours and <laughs> so if, you know. Okay, we're not, we're gonna leave that off of YouTube, okay? <laughs> Hello, welcome to our tent. This is very like anti-traditional camping, by the way. Any campers out there, we know you're laughing at us and we don't care, okay? Because this is our style of camping. What I love about this place, you guys, is that they have a bathtub. Bathtubs make me really happy. I actually mentioned this on Instagram, at Manifestation Babe. The Safari Collection cares so much about being as sustainable as possible. And just one of the many ways that they accomplish this is by little things like this. So you turn on the shower, you use the bucket to collect the cold water, and then once it gets hot, you move the bucket and what they use this water for is either cleaning or watering the plants. So they actually use the water rather than it going down the drain. So we have a toilet here out in the open. You know, if you're a couple coming here and you're not comfortable peeing out in the open, then you might have problems. But if you're like me and you don't care, for those who know, that's where the magic happens. <laughs> And then, I'm not gonna go out there because it's still raining. We have a plunge pool, and we also have a nice seating area, which I'm so excited to sit because you can actually see the river. And I think, that's it. It's time to relax. All right, we're having lunch right over here at our private table. What is so cool about this place is right now, we're standing in Kenya, and right across the river is Tanzania. Another country if we cross the river. I don't know if they'll stamp our passport. I can see the we bottom, sneak. but I'm not swimming through that shit, babe. No, I know. I'm joking. All right, check out our lunch table. Very cute. All right, it's our first official sunset game drive with our new team here at Salas Camp. Woo! <laughs> We finally got the closest we've ever gotten to a leopard. <laughs> He's in the tree with his kill. And he said the kill's a baby wildebeest, well, right? Aww. Hey, Brennan. 
guys, it looks like the shadow land from Lion King because of all the bones. Yeah. And the hyena. <laughs> this is where Simba was told not to go. found lions after we just watched a shit ton of wildebeest cross a river into Tanzania. And we've already seen like two leopards. Amazing. I love it here. Oh, under the tree. got my camera's memory card so right now I'm vlogging on my phone but this is a really special moment because at Solio we saw a ton of white rhinos and even though they have black rhinos we never saw one they're super hidden elusive they hide they're in the bushes it's just hard to see them we just spotted a black rhino here in the Mara check this out oh my god they're so much smaller oh what a cutie A friend, he hitchhiked on you. How cool is he? he's adapted to this environment versus the green ones that we've seen yeah, elsewhere? Yeah. So we are having bush breakfast right now in the Mara, and I just want to say that this is my favorite breakfast spot we've had so far because we are literally hanging out with the freaking zebras and will the beast too. We're literally surrounded. I know it's like tiny on the camera but any little speck of animal walking by is like a full-size zebra in Wildebeest. They are more dangerous, especially when you are walking along the river at night or you are coming along the river. National Geographic Planet Earth. Oh my god, they're gonna go. This grave guy is going first. There are crocs and hippos all in this water, and some brave sacrifice is about to go first. It's game drive time. What time is it? It's game, game drive time. Drive. Game time. Let's go. Right. We're gonna let him finish. You done with your moment? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's game drive time which means that it's time to see some game. Real talk though, every time we come back from our game drives, we are literally so ridiculously exhausted. We literally are just laying here like for two hours and then the time comes and somehow we just feel rejuvenated. We have so much energy. We're ready to fucking go. Oh, is that the do not, put the do not disturb thing back. So guys, Wait, wait, show them how it works. If this hole is occupied, then it's don't come in. Yeah, because we're in a tent. You come over here, you're gonna see what's going on. And then you put it back when you're done. Resheath this one. All right, check out our walk to the car. It's the first time it's been raining, actually, on a game drive. Oh, shit, it's dumping. Okay. Oh, let's go, Catherine. Let's go. <laughs> Same formula with the wildebeest with, because of the slow yeah, part. Yeah, they look similar. It's only their color. They're prettier than the wildebeest. Yeah, yeah. they're more pretty. <laughs> Actually, they are more pretty.
Holy shit, what a morning. We had an epic morning. So last night at the camp, everyone were talking about all the male lions that they saw and the cheetahs. They were literally listing everything we've yet to see and we're like, what the fuck? And so this morning, of course, our guides, our amazing guides are like, okay, we're gonna spot a cheetah. We're gonna, they're like actively looking for the animals that we haven't yet seen. I just kind of said to the universe in my head, I was like, you know what? The most potent energy you can ever be in is one of no expectations and when you're happy even in the absence of something you will manifest it but you have to be genuinely happy in the absence of it and that's like the biggest key that so many people miss so i was like even if we don't see a cheetah i'm still going to be happy even if we don't see a male lion i'm still going to be happy and then all of a sudden the tour was like oh male lion i'm like what and so we drove up and we're like so close to him and then we see another one and then we drive off and we see two more and then we drive off and we see two more and it was just like so many male lions today it was like a male lion day and of course we're still open to seeing the cheetah but we are going to be happy whether or not we see it and after our bush breakfast this morning it's our last day here in the bush we are going to a maasai village which is those buildings over there probably can't see them but you're gonna see them up close so i'm super excited to see how the maasai people live here in the mara a few side notes i have been manifesting seeing the big cats the predators take an animal down and i'm an animal softy like i so totally support people who go hunt and actually eat it and like use the animal to the fullest that being said like I'm a softie, I'm not a hunter. Yesterday we were in two like unbelievable spots. For a croc. Didn't see a kill, but if something was to happen, we would have had some Nat Geo, planet Earth shit for real. And so part of me was like, I wanted to see it because it's different when it's out here. It's not like, oh, the poor little baby. It's like everything needs to eat or it doesn't survive. We have, as animals, always had to fight for survival. And I think sometimes as humans, we kind of forget that. And also we let our mind like create fight or flight and the cortisol response over meaningless shit. It's not life or death because someone dumps you. It's not life or death because you got fired from your job. It's not life or death because you don't make as much yeah. money as you want it or puts whatever. It into perspective here. Like here so it's actual much. life or death. It's so even though I'm like still waiting, you know, maybe in the 11th hour we see a cheetah take down yeah. a little baby Thompson gazelle or something. And everyone on Instagram is being like, you're so lucky you saw a cat. And I'm like, what? We've seen There's like so a thousand cats. cats. What yeah. do you mean we're so lucky so apparently we're really lucky yep. and our rock star guides right now who are making us breakfast this is itur yep. and kopai just smashing the wildlife this morning Karibu sana. Asante sana. You enjoyed the dance? Yeah, oh my perfect. God. That's my happiness. This is the entrance.
finally found the cheetah. The cheetah. Last animal that we were missing on our list yep. was a cheetah. It's life, Baba. So it's our last night here on safari, and not only did we finally catch the cheetah, but we also caught our first live kill. Now, I'm very happy for the cheetah, very sad for the baby Thompson gazelle, but you know what? This is the circle of life here in Kenya. This is just what happens with the wildlife, and so now we're watching the cheetah eat her dinner. Is this a male or a female? It's a female. Female, it's a If you can't demand for anything, that's when you see everything. Yes. No expectations and you see everything. Kopai just said that we're very lucky and it's true we are very lucky, but we're also amongst the rich man. Yes, because Kopai in Ma, right, means rich man. So we are with a very rich man. <laughs> And he brings us all the luck. A rich man to be? Yeah. I just wanted to share my take. So <gasps> someone just sneezed in the cheetah almost ran away, but it's cool. <laughs> There's something majestic about the balance of this baby Thompson gazelle dying and this cheetah living. This cheetah lost her cubs a month ago, he said. Lost three cubs to lions. It's like really beautiful to see this girl just carry on. Life is not easy, it's tough out here. They have to survive and they do it whatever it takes. I just think there's a lot of lessons in that for us. It's like a Lion King sunset. Check this out, yeah, it's really cool. Look at our dinner set up tonight. The introverts decided not to join dinner in the main tent. What? A bat just flew one inch past your head. <laughs> <laughs> How perfect. That was crazy. Oh, you I see, see it, yeah. yeah. Well, we love bats. We do love bats. So we're fine. And it's just a nice romantic vibe for our last night. It's Got all my suit camp. and tie on. Oh yeah, you look great. Well, goddamn, guys, this morning we decided to go on one last game drive. It was just a spur of the moment thing. Went all around with our amazing, amazing guides. We saw the same cheetah we saw make the kill last night. I just put the damn camera down and Catherine and I just watched. And that was like the best send off. And right now I'm gonna eat so I don't get killed by my wife because I haven't packed yet. See ya. Just like that, we're starting the final leg of our journey. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna miss the Savannah. I'm gonna miss that guy back there, Kopai. I'm gonna miss this dude right here, he tour. We'll be back, right? Yes. We're gonna be back. We're gonna bring family. We're gonna bring family. All right, we're here at the Kikorok airstrip in the Masai Mara National Reserve, and it is time for us to go to Draft Manor. So we're waiting for our plane. There's no plane in sight yet. Apparently it's supposed to be coming in like the next 10 minutes. I don't know when I found out about Draft Manor, like five years ago, six years ago. I just like knew that one day I'd be sitting at those breakfast tables, feeding the giraffe, and now it's here. The time has come. So I can't wait to show you guys Draft Manor, the second part of this vlog. No way! Nice. Thank you! Wow! Wow! So beautiful! Cool! Oh. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. You remember you all that time. You guys made Never our forget. trip. Yeah. Okay, we just checked into Giraffe Manor and now we're gonna get some lunch. Our room right now actually faces the lunch and dinner area. The cafeteria? The giraffeteria. Giraffeteria! It's so wild to like see this place so much on Instagram and then like be here. It's a little wild. We'll show you a room tour later. We're really hungry, so let's check out lunch first. Hold on, I wanna add something. This place is booked to the brim. To the brim. Every room is sold out. Sold out. She may not agree with this. You are missing out if you only do this and leave. There are so many awesome Safari Collection properties and no, we are not sponsored by Safari Collection. This is just my opinion. Like you're gonna come to Kenya, go see you, their other stuff. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. 
like this being our first night, I might have been like, wow, oh my God, there's giraffes. But we've seen so many giraffes. And I'm like, oh, there's giraffes by the house. Cool. You this know? is cool, but it's, it's still not cool. the whole cake. Yeah, but we'll form our full opinion in 24 hours. All right, let's go. Harry Potter in Hogwarts with the giraffes. It does look like the Hogwarts. Last pass from McGonagall. So we just got ready, we had lunch. The giraffes are already behind us, as you can see. So here at the manor, you can't just freely feed the giraffes, nor are they always like surrounding the manor like you see on Instagram. There's actually specific feeding times. So there's a morning feeding time with breakfast, and then there's an afternoon tea feeding time from 5 to 6 p.m., so basically around sunset. I think they chose that also because of the golden hour, so they're really smart. They actually don't really approach unless you have food or they think that you have food except for the little kiddos. They like come a little bit earlier and it's so cute because they're like, mom, is there food? Can I go? Can I go get snacks yet? So as you can see, they're already behind us and they're ready to go and we're ready to feed them. You guys are ready, huh? Oh my God, look at the word hug. Catherine was saying that you can only feed them one at a time because they need to stay fit. And I understand that's a legitimate concern. And then I looked at them and I was like, no, oh, they look pretty bulbous. <laughs> the stomach is just like, <laughs> Look a little bit different in the wild. You'd think that we're about to see a celebrity sighting, which maybe we are, because we got a full house. I feel like we're at a movie theater, like waiting for the show to start, and this is like the commercials. And everyone's like getting situated, grabbing their drinks, like making sure they're in the right seat. baby action going on. Oh, hey cutie. Don't worry, I'm not messing with her. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, that was an adventure. We just spent the last like 45 minutes feeding giraffes. It was a very, very interesting adventure, very fun. The giraffes have so much personality to them. They're sassy, they're funny, they're hungry, they're stubborn. <laughs> it's really quite humorous to check out. This is definitely 10 out of 10 would recommend. This is a fun experience for sure. Excuse me. Pumbafu, get out of here. So it is the morning time after our very first night and only night here at the Giraffe Manor. So my perception before of Giraffe Manor is like everyone's gonna fight for the giraffes and it's gonna be like influencer chaos here. And I was actually very pleasantly surprised that it was not that way. It's super fair here. Everyone is gonna have time to get photos of the giraffes. Everyone gets to take photos wherever it is that they want. You have a server that is not only serving you your lunch and your breakfast and your dinner, but also also is the one who is serving you giraffe food and following you around everywhere you want to go. So if you want to go to the front door, if you want to go to the breakfast area, if you want to go outside, however you want to pose, they literally make it happen and they make it happen for every single person. I would just say that if you don't want to exhaust yourself trying to get photos with giraffes, make sure you stay here two nights if you can make it happen. So they do conservation here for the Rothschild giraffes. And so these giraffes, though they know them by name and they take care of them, these are wild giraffes. They have a mind of their own. Some of them will literally bop you in the head. So if you're not careful, I think they have like two or three naughty giraffes here that will literally go like this and swing their necks and hit you if you're not feeding them. <laughs> So that's an experience. So they have this new building that actually just opened up a month ago. They have a spa, they have a pool, they have a restaurant, and then they have day rooms that you can purchase for day use if you have a late flight. So our flight leaves around midnight tonight. So Brennan and I got a day room, which is where I'm at right now. So let me show around our day room. We have two twin beds over here. We got some giraffe artwork as per usual. Daisy 
yeah? Yes. Daisy's so I sweet. Keep Daisy. Actually, Daisy's kind of a. She's like me. Yeah, she's sassy. She's sassy. Hi, sweetie. Don't bop her. There you go. Nice girl. Pumbafu. You shall not pass. You shall not pass. <laughs> he ran away. <laughs>